If you love war movies, then this video is for you. I'm gonna show you the best war movies on Amazon Prime, so you don't have to waste your time searching through a bunch of garbage. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Number 11, 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. We need immediate assistance. We are overrun. 13 Hours takes place in 2012 in Benghazi, Libya which was such a dangerous place that countries have extracted their diplomatic offices in fear of attack, except for the United States. Near the country's diplomatic compound was a CIA outpost tasked to defend the remaining Americans against a wave of terrorist attacks. In typical war film nature, the movie features a lot of guns, fighting, and gunfighting. This Michael Bay film has garnered mixed reaction from critics. I guess all the blood and hypermasculine energy is just not for some people. Number 10, we, we Were Soldiers. I will be the first to set foot on the field, and I'll be the last to step off. The movie We Were Soldiers is an excellent well-crafted film. It was respectful to the Vietnamese and provided a holistic approach to the subject rather than a myopic one. Mel Gibson does an excellent job conveying this story that needs to be told with care for both American soldiers as well as civilians in Vietnam. The story unfolds in La Drang Valley in Vietnam where 450 American soldiers were surrounded by 2,000 North Vietnamese troops, a place that would later be called the Valley of Death. The film explores the nobility of the outnumbered soldiers in the battle that marks the beginning of the Vietnam War. The film stars Mel Gibson, Madeline Stowe, and Greg Kinnear. We Were Soldiers got many awards and nominations. Number 9. The Hurt Locker This is a gripping tale about a bomb disposal squad in Iraq, led by a certain Sergeant Williams who experiences such a high when doing his job that it leads to him being reckless and wild, much to the worry of his team members who merely want to survive the few days of duty they have left. One interesting note about the movie is that it was actually written by journalist Mark Boal, based on his experience with the bomb squad in Iraq, so the movie is as real as it gets. Furthermore, the director Catherine Bigelow purposely casted lesser known actors to further the feel of realism in the film. Number 8. Black Hawk Down Black Hawk Down is a 2001 American war film based on Mark Bowden's 1999 book of the same name, directed by Ridley Scott. It starred Josh Hartnett and Ewan McGregor. The film documents the 1993 raid in Mogadishu by US military forces that led to a fierce firefight and eventual battle between themselves and Somali militia groups, which became known as Black Hawk Down. This is our war, not yours. 300,000 dead. County. Soldiers' efforts helped establish stability for UN humanitarian operations there. But they were unable to capture warlord Mohammed Farah Adid. Hans Zimmer's music adds to the intensity of this film. I like how they presented military technology in it, and it's a must see for war drama and action movie fans. Number 7 The Thin Red Line. The Thin Red Line was a movie released in 1998, inspired by James Jones's 1962 autobiographical novel. It focuses on the World War II, Guadalcanal conflict and how it affected Japanese advances to Pacific regions. The movie starts when US Army Private Witt is captured and taken into custody on a troop carrier by his company, First Sergeant Welsh. But the real thrill begins when a group of newly trained young soldiers were sent as reinforcements for the exhausted Marines. From goal-driven soldiers to mentally challenged men just wanting to survive another day. The film displays the meaningless point of war and, most of all, a story of redemption and brotherhood. Number 6. Fury Hollywood has always had a reputation of either being very accurate to its history or wildly inaccurate. The majority of war movies depend on the usage of conveying gruesome battles, but David Ayer's 2014 film Fury shows us an entirely different perspective. How many? 300 of them. It's five against 300. This action-packed movie stars Brad Pitt as Sergeant Don, Lord Eddie Collier, Shia LaBeouf as Boyd Swan, and John Bernthal as Grady Travis, Michael Pena as Trini Garcia, and Logan Learman as Norman Ellison. The movie tells the story of an army sergeant called War Daddy and his five-man crew carrying out a deadly mission into the heart of Nazi Germany. With odds overwhelmingly not in their favor, the platoon has to fight their way into survival, even when they're outnumbered. Outgunned and outskilled. We never run before, why are we gonna run now? We're still in this fight! We're still in this fight! Number five, 
Dunkirk. Dunkirk is a cinematic masterpiece with stunning cinematography and captivating directing. This film immerses you into the Dunkirk evacuation where German forces advanced into the French port of Dunkirk, trapping more than 400,000 British and French soldiers. The Allied troops found themselves in a discouraging situation at the face of the menacing German air power. What was predicted as a rescue mission that could save only 45,000 men turned into a mission with 330,000 being rescued, with what would be later called the Miracle of Dunkirk. Nolan and Zimmer have been an unstoppable duo for years, but in Dunkirk, they showed their true skills. Nolan weaves a suspenseful story with his unusual mastery, while Hans Zimmer's score is unforgettable. Number 4. Hacksaw Ridge Another inspiring true story that revolves around medic Desmond Doze, who vowed not to kill anyone nor to carry any weapon, a heroic decision that can be viewed as stubborn in the middle of the bloodiest World War II battles. He saved 75 men in Okinawa and later becomes the first man in American history to receive the Medal of Honor without ever firing a single shot. The epic war drama directed by Mel Gibson, with Andrew Garfield as the main lead, easily considered one of the greatest war movies ever made. Number 3. 1917 Director and co-writer Sam Mendes created a truly unique war movie, and with this 2019 film, set during a battle in World War I, it follows two British soldiers who are trying to get a message to the front lines before the main army makes a major mistake. Mendes filmed and edited this movie as if it was one long take, and it's a truly incredible cinematic achievement. It's truly one of the best war movies ever made. Number two. I don't know anything about Ryan. I don't care. Finding him so he can go home. If that earns me the right to get back to my wife. Saving Private Ryan. Considered one of the best war movies ever made, Saving Private Ryan is a must watch for any warm film fanatic. Directed by Steven Spielberg, this movie puts us in the shoes of John H. Miller, who is tasked to retrieve a soldier called Private Ryan. Hesitant to endanger the lives of his men for a single soldier, Miller is forced to take on the mission. This movie does a great job of stripping war of its glory and focuses more on the tragic side of World War II. Most notably, the horror and the chaos of the infamous D-Day is beautifully represented in this movie. You can't really call yourself a war film fan without watching Saving Private Ryan. Number 1. Schindler's List Director Steven Spielberg wanted to make a movie about the terrible events of the Holocaust during World War II, but also wanted to make a film that was ultimately hopeful rather than completely depressing. The result was 1993's Schindler's List, which chronicles the real-life efforts of German businessman Oskar Schindler to save as many Jews from the Nazi extermination camps as he could. It's not easy to watch, and indeed one of the best movies on Amazon Prime, period. It's powerful and emotional, and proves the human spirit can overcome even the worst atrocities. Well, that's our list of the best war movies on Amazon Prime. We are sure you're going to like them. If you like this video, then consider giving us a thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified for our new uploads every week. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time with another awesome video.